Uh... What up everybody, Alfie here, AKA Random Black Guy, AKA Chocolate Face No Makeup, with a quick review for the film. Cherry. Cherry is the newest Russo Brothers film. And this film is starring Tom Holland. Okay, the plot of the film is pretty simple. It's about, about a druggy bank robber that you get to follow his backstory, everything from uh, pretty much living in a little town, uh, trying to figure out himself to, and pretty much to enlisting himself to army and pretty much dealing with PTSD. So that is pretty much the plot. Uh, I don't want to spoil that much, but the film looks nice. I think the acting is, this is Tom Holland uh, showing us that he is not lumped to the whole MCU. He is so much more and he is a pretty capable actor. Holy shit, he proves me in this film that he is good and he can carry a film through and through. Overall, the film, I like it. Uh, do I love it? No, I wanted to love it. I really wanted to like it a lot. But in the end, I think that this film is a pretty much a nice looking film. It, it ends of becoming pretty much a style over substance type of film. I think the cinematography, I like the editing, I like the music, I like the way they tell the story with quick editing, sharp uh, transition. In the end, I felt like something was missing with this film and I felt pretty much unsatisfied with this film. I think this film is based on a book by the author Nico Walker. I think that this story is pretty much based on a true story. The thing that is that I did not like with this film overall is that they were doing a film of how to deal with post-traumatic stress and how to deal with, you know, being addicted to drugs. It becomes a little bit too much of, of a cliche. This type of way, how they portray with drugs. And I don't know, it just felt a little bit much of they wanted to show cool ways to how to deal with drugs. If you want to see a film that pretty much leaves you uncomfortable, then watch uh, Requiem for Dream. Yeah, Requiem for Dream is a great example of how to deal with drugs. It makes you feel pretty nasty watching these people going on a self-destruction. And like I said, the visual is nice. Like it is really, 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 really good. But it just, it, it is pretty shallow as a film. And when a film is shallow, it, it's, it feels like you're just watching a film that looks nice. And the core of the film is not really there. Overall, as a film, is it works well. It's a capable film. But is this the type of film that you want to see on all, all, all of those film festivals? Or you want to see this being one of the potentials to become one of the nominated for Oscars or even Golden Globe stuff like that. No, because this film is not that type of film. Even the character Emily played by Sierra Bravo was really good in this film. I've never seen her before, but this is a standout performance. I think that she is really, really good. And you get to see how much uh, she is hurt by Tom Holland's character and pretty much how he is fucking her over because he, he, he does some selfish, selfish decision in this film. It felt so much in the end that I wanted to have in the film that it just didn't have. So on the surface level, great film. When you have to nitpick and go to the core of the film, it's so much that it that is left undeal with. And yeah, I am liking this film, but I'm not loving this film. So in the end, my rating of Sherry, I'm gonna give Sherry 2.7 out of 5. Overall, it's better than the average film, but it's not a great film. In, in the end, it just leaves me with a meh, but it's still pretty nice film to look at. Yeah, Russo Brothers, this is a nice step from doing the whole MCU but I think you have to deal a little bit more with the story and the screenwriting because the screenwriting is not sharp in here. But in the end, I still think that this is a nice looking film and it has a lot of cliche, but great performances from Tom Holland and Sierra Bravo. Even Jack Rayner was, was good in this film. He's not in this film a lot, but he was good. Yeah, 2.7 out of five. Anyways, guys, have you seen Cherry? What do you think about Cherry? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Write your comments down below, let your boy know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so every time I upload new video, First, my name is Alfie, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup, with my review for the film Shelly. Until next time, guys, I'm gonna be out there.